match meter. Okay, if you're going to, well, I'm going to show you a, a match meter. Any, any soccer fans? Any Man United? <laughs> Liverpool? Anyone else? Go Leeds United or Middlesbrough or uh, that was obscure, no? No Scunthorpe's, no? This is where you all have to clap and cheer and uh, get wildly excited. This is a match from last, last season. Uh, this is one of my products. This is my core product. This is the one I've had for 18 months. I've been working on it for 18 months. I might have broken it here. <coughs> this is David, uh, David Armstrong. Hello, David. Hi. David's working on this currently. This is a, a uh, match meter. So, this is a, a representation of a match that went on last season. Uh, the, on the left, this column on the left here. Shows Manchester has a chance of winning, the chance of being a draw, and the chances of Liverpool uh, winning. Now, anybody who knows this uh, this match will know that uh, Liverpool had a minuscule chance of winning when, when United were one 0 up at home, went on to win the match four uh, one. So basically, what you're looking at, the chart that you're looking at, the, whatever you want to call it that you're looking at, the meter you're looking at, shows who's winning, losing, or drawing in any competitive. Uh, sporting event. This isn't restricted to sport. It could work with um, reality television. Is is uh, Doctor Newman getting evicted from Big Brother? Celebrity Big Brother? I get evicted from Celebrity Big Brother. It could work with politics. Is, is David Cameron going to be the next Prime Minister? Is you know Martin McGuinness going to be the next you know uh, First Minister or whatever whatever it happens to be? That's a that's a, a soccer example. Let me give you a tennis example. This is the example I used in my, my presentation to the to the investors. And a very melodramatic. Uh, so I'm not giving you the full uh, thing, but when I represented this, did you see this uh, two years ago? Federer and Nadal, 10 hours of, of tennis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> you guys got to get out more or stay in more. Uh, this shows this is 10 hours, and uh, the, 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 the the newspaper article was written about it at the time. Said, "Let us try to define the best of sport. Always, it must be underpinned by purity of effort, a refusal to hold back nothing anything of yourself." And as we see, as we did on Sunday, as day stretched into night, there's a whole newspaper <coughs> article written about this was the most titanic contest of all time. And what you see, there's a line comes up, and you'll see that the line between winner and loser is crossed. Uh, I think in this, in the ten hours of this match, about um, about 15 or 16 times. So, if you imagine a boxing match, one guy is winning the boxing match, then somebody's losing it, then they're winning it, so then they're losing it. This to me was the, possibly the most titanic struggle in sporting, um, you know, in, in the last century in, 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 in sports terms. Guys, what do you think of that? Is that interesting? Is that, uh, could you see that on your, on your uh, you know, if you're watching Sky Sport, you press a red button. What if we replace that with pints of Guinness or pints of Carlsberg and put it in your iPhone, if it was Ireland winning the, the Six Nations or whatever? Somebody want to tell me what the girl? It was on your phone. It was on your phone, I think. That's the intention. The intention was to put it. When I was, when I was showing this to people um, two years ago, I couldn't explain to them. I kept using the term I was going to deploy the products, to put the products places that. Um, and, and I couldn't get across that you know iPhones were coming out and it was going to be on your iPhone. I just couldn't get that out. I kept using the wrong terms. I kept saying it was going to be on platforms and I was going to deploy it. Now I'm going to put it in the App Store, I'm going to sell it for £3. People really understand that. When I was battling against this 18 months ago, two years ago, before iPhones, Android, all these things came into play, I couldn't get that uh, across to the people that I was trying to, to get my message across. This is the most difficult concept that, that I'm working on, and uh, the, 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 the intention is to make this um, scalable, to make it deployable, to, to, to make it sellable, and to, to work. I think this is a product for kids, for, for 10 or 12 year old kids in the playground with a Manchester United uh, meter or with a, a Liverpool one or a Chelsea one or, or, or what have you. I also see it as a product that advertisers might uh, take up. If I show this, no, no offence, okay, but if I show this to a 50 or a 60 or a 70 year old person, they have no idea why this would be of interest. If I show it to a 10 or 12 or 14 year old person, 
they think it's smashing. So it just shows you, you know, if you're in the technology business, try to sell to the to the right people, try to to, to pitch your product at the at the right people.